don't know. Trust me. <laughs> I had a great work going on in the hospital. Oh, to make sure it doesn't die. Good. I was, uh, Give it enough I'm power and juice. Okay, I'm going to start off by saying hello. Yeah, I don't want to talk about how much weight. Back. Is it doing it right now? No, I'm not. That, I'm not close to it now. Yeah, you're right. You're good. All right. Hi, I'm Lisa Castle from Clark State Community College. I am so happy you guys have patiently waited for us to get all of our little technical glitches worked out here. And I thank you for coming by today to watch this virtual open house. And we're excited to share a lot of good information with you about, let me take this mask off. <laughs> um, I'm far enough away from everybody so you can hear me better. Um, we're very excited to share with you today the information about how the seniors coming into the manufacturing program next year will be able to earn up to 13 college credits taking four Clark State classes during your high school, normal high school day here next, next year. Um, we have here today, ready to speak with you, instructors Michael Kaus, instructors Jason Chilman from um, Clark State, you all know Michael Kaus from Ohio High Point, as well as myself, to share with you the information about the structure of the courses, how it will work, what you can expect, what the goals are, and then my, I actually have a little, um, a little slide presentation just sharing with you guys the um, an overall summary of what it takes to become a Clark State College Credit Plus student. There are some processes and some steps, but the good news is it's completely free, including the books. And I know the parents really like to hear that part. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go over all of that. But then afterwards, we're going to email you a recording of this video so that you can go back and review it as well as an email chock full of links so that you'll be able to click the link our entire enrollment process has been taken online you'll be able to apply online take your uh, placement test online have your orientation online and um, schedule your classes online uh, give me just one second here Okay, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and just begin my PowerPoint presentation. Then once I'm done, we're going to bring up Mr. Mr. Chilman and Mr. Kaus, who are the instructors, and they're going to talk to you about the four classes, okay? Thanks. So as I was talking about just a moment ago, there's a lot of benefits with being a CCP student with Clark State. Um, these four courses were actually specifically designed to benefit Ohio High Point students. So it is something you absolutely should take advantage of. It is a fantastic benefit. At $165 a credit hour, this would equate to almost $1,800, and it would be at least $1,800 saved, or $2,000 when you add in the cost of books. But the state pays for this for you. Um, some other benefits are that it absolutely gives you a jump start on the certifications in the manufacturing field, which Mr. Kaus has been working on with students here for, for many years. And so you may already be working on other certifications with him or with Ohio High Point. Um, you'll be able to earn these college credits with the benefit of your instructor being around to help. I mean, it's still going to be a college class. It will have all the same college class responsibilities, but you're going to have an added benefit Another one being that your CCP advisor is right here on this campus. So having your teacher and your CCP advisor here, there's really it really makes it easier for you to take advantage of this of these uh, opportunities. As I mentioned earlier, there's a total of four classes. The two that are in fall are manufacturing foundations and the CNC machine operator class. These courses take place between 12:30 and 2:30. And it'll be during your normal high school classes during that time, okay? The two courses will be done in fall. You'll earn those credits. Then in the spring, the next two classes will begin and finish. Now there's a lot of, um, a lot of details about getting and becoming a CCP student, but I'm not going to get too deep into the woods because I'm gonna save that for your CCP orientation once you apply and become a student with, with Clark State, okay? Mm -hmm. 
Enrollment summary, just to let you know, all of our enrollment has been moved to online. You can apply to Clark State online, mail in your high school transcripts, request and take a virtual AccuPlacer exam online, attend your new student orientation, schedule and meet with a CCP advisor such as myself. We do virtual meetings with a link, ones that will hopefully work better than mine work today. It just goes to show that we are all human. Um, so you'll be able to schedule and to meet with me. And again, like I said, the high, high point students are very fortunate because they have me right on campus as well. Um, and as I mentioned earlier today, we're going to follow up after this presentation and I'm gonna email you all of the links with the um, application links and request your AccuPlacer test links and, and all of the information, okay? And speaking of, here is um, an example of when I'm going to email you. Um, some of the requirements for the high school students would be to pass one of the three sections of the AccuPlacer, which is divided into reading, writing, and math. Now, to become an accepted CCP student, you're required to pass one of those three major areas. But you may not need all of those areas. We will figure that part out. Um, by you going ahead and, and emailing us your high school transcript. And then we'll let you know after looking at that if you even need any parts of the AccuPlacer, which if you do, then we contact you and let you know. Um, upon admission, after you successfully complete that part, then we uh, attend and we send you a new student orientation link and register you for the classes. It really is that simple. Once you get through the process of just becoming a student, then you just move on and complete your courses with your, with your instructors. Um, this is part of the checklist that showed the minimum cut scores. And again, like I said, today is not about me getting too deeply in the woods about that, just to let you know the process and then to follow up with more details in the email afterwards. Plus I'll be here when they're done talking to answer any, any specific questions some of you may have today, okay? Well, I definitely wanna thank you for attending and listening to my presentation. And I wanna remind you that these classes have been developed for you to help your future in the manufacturing field. And we really hope that you choose to take advantage of all of the opportunities. Um, it's going to save you thousands of dollars, get you a jump start on your um, job choice. And again, don't hesitate to let um, myself, uh, Mr. Kaus, or Mr. Shulman know after this presentation, should you have any other questions, okay? And I'm going to save this part questions because actually we're going to say that to the end when the instructors have finished with their presentation. So I'm going to step back now and let them begin. Thank you so much. It says present now. It's already stopped. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Okay. All right. So let me uh, just touch on a little bit of what what the week would look like with you guys, and then I'll let Mr. Chilman explain the four courses that that would span over the year. Um, also that Clark State did was they they looked at our schedule our, for the calendar and they they modeled the class times and the, and the, and the um, nine week schedules off of that so that you don't have to worry about it running into times when you would normally be here. So the, the, the schedule is, um, two days lab. So there'll be two days that be lab. And right now the seniors are scheduled for Tuesday, Thursday. So you will be Tuesday, Thursday lab. And then you would, you would also be here every other Friday. And in, in my class, if you're in my courses, you would also have a capstone course, which is good because that would give you time to work on those courses as well. Um, if you're here for the full week, if we're in a full week schedule, the other three days you would be working on online material for the course, for the manufacturing course, and also your capstone material. Um, the other, if we're here on a two day schedule and an alternate Friday, then the two days you would be here would be the two days for the Clark State class. And then the other three days you would be working virtually 
on the on material that they would present for you in Blackboard or material that I would have available for you for the capstone. So I'm going to turn it over now to Mr. Tillman and let him introduce himself and talk a little bit about the individual courses. Oh, cool. There's a viewport there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, just like normal, I block out the light. All right. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> okay. That's not going to work because, yeah, being tall is, is just fabulous, folks. Let me tell you. Okay. Well, welcome. I'm assuming all of you can see me and, well, hopefully you can. My name is Jason Chillman. I am the instructor for Clark State, and I will be teaching all four courses this year up here. Gang, I can't tell you, it's a great opportunity. Um, obviously, first, it's a great opportunity because you get to spend time with me. Uh, that's a sought-after commodity in these days. I'm, I'm just going to put that out there. Uh, secondly, the foundations you put in here while you're already attending High Point allow you a lot of latitude. Uh, with us going over the introduction to engineering curriculum in addition to CNC lathe operation, CNC milling operation. And then we get down to business on that fourth quarter with programming where we have an opportunity to do, we're gonna be doing line by line programming, but also we have a virtual programming software on each of the machines that allow us to graphically interface with what we wanna do. Essentially it's a, uh, Toss has designed it so we go in and tell the machine what we want, what dimensions, what sizes, what process. We hit a button and it writes the code and makes the part. So, uh, you know, I definitely encourage you to speak with any of the previous seniors if you know any of them. It went really well. Uh, and again, it's just it's just a great opportunity here. I enjoy working with the students up here, so I would really encourage you to sign up for that and that we'd be able to get started here in the fall. So let's see. Okay, I think we're going to unplug the charger. So we're going to take you on a little virtual walk here. So now some of you, especially some of the juniors I know, were in here during career days. And for those of you that were in here the first day, got to watch us crash the lathe on the first day in front of the sophomores. That is a challenge we will try not to repeat. But again, uh, prove the point of the importance of decimals. So you can see our newly acquired programming assistant that allows us, in this case, we're doing some engraving work. All we have to do is enter all of our parameters and the controller computer writes the whole thing for us. Now, since I am a complete expert at walking backwards, we're gonna look at now at our lathe and I was just talking to Mr. Kaus, this is something we're gonna expand on this year and be able to cut some threads. Now, trying to do this manually or working, working on programming that manually is enough to give Einstein a headache. So we don't do that. We make use of these wonderful, powerful computers to create those parts. So, I'm going to move it back up here to the official podium. Hopefully all of you haven't gotten seasick. Oh, there's that light again. All right, we've got to turn that so I'm not backlit. Somebody might go blind. So again, I look forward to the opportunity to work with, hopefully work with quite a few of you. And when we open up the Q&A, if any of you have any questions for me about what we would cover or anything of that sort, um, please feel free to do so. Uh, Otherwise, I think I'm going to turn it back over to, okay, everybody's pointing at everybody else, so this is very reassuring. So Mr. Kaus here, and then we will have our question and answer session. Yeah, here, you'll be in that light. Okay. There you go. That's fine. All right, so um, I guess I'm opening it up for anybody that would have any questions regarding how anything that I can answer. If I'm not you, we have two other people here that can answer for help answer the any questions for you. Lee, do you, do you or um, Andy? Um, I do have one question. Would this be something that would go along our normal lab? Like that is that what this is? It like it actually, it actually builds upon the concepts that you're working with, as I know you deal more with the robotics and some of the electronic aspects of excuse me, robotic and electrical engineering. This takes you into more of the manufacturing side, but just gives you another 
area of knowledge that you would have some experience to be able to put on a resume, that you'd have some entry level knowledge of CNC operation and programming. And, and we will be uh, completing the FANUC too, because we you guys got the online material finished, but we didn't get the yeah, the course uh, material from for me on, and we will finish that as well. So that kind of flows with the rest of this as well. Okay, cool. That was also one of my other questions that after all of this was if we were going to finish FANUC. Well, yes, we are. And I am also going to be your teacher of record for the high school. So as far as reporting to class and everything will be done as we normally do. The difference is that when you're in the CC plus class, you'll be over here in the manufacturing lab. Um, and then the rest of the time you're with me over on the other side. Okay. okay. That's all my questions. Okay. Does, does anybody else have any questions for Clark State or myself? Don't be shy. <laughs> I know parents are probably have some questions. Well, when I send you the email, I really hope that you guys um, decide to take advantage and just start with the enrollment link and click apply now as a Clark State student, okay? okay. And then we will roll you through from there. We will we'll just keep um, taking you through the steps to get you started. Can, can you send? And absolutely feel free to Okay, it's not funny if you move the camera. <laughs> uh, feel free to contact Miss Castle. She can get a hold of me in a flash, can text me, and if there's any kind of questions that parents might have or you might have later on, uh, it's not a problem. Get a hold of us, and we can answer those uh, as we prep to start the school year. And and I, if you if you send me your questions too by email or text, I can forward them as well, or maybe I can answer them. So don't hesitate in, in sending any questions whatsoever that you might have. Yeah, Mr. Kaus has my cell phone number. So if you get a hold of him, he can catch me almost instantly to get those answers for you. Okay, time frame. If they want to be a Clark State student. Yeah, you want to get started right away because, like I said, you got to get through the enrollment. So you'll, you'll want to um, apply. You're going to get um, a tentative acceptance email. And when I say tentative, it's going to say you are accepted, conditioned upon passing and meeting the minimum criteria on the placement test. And then also right away, uh, have your high school transcript, your updated high school transcript, the one when you, you know, it shows what you took and finished in your junior year, get that email to CCP. All of that will be in the email. I'm gonna follow up with you with the steps of how to do it. So you'll apply to the college, get your transcript emailed to, to the college, and then just wait because we're gonna contact you next. When we contact you, we will be saying something along the lines of, we've reviewed your transcript, you need all three parts of the AccuPlacer, or we've reviewed the transcript, you only need reading, whatnot. So we'll take you through the virtual AccuPlacer. The, um, as soon as you're done with the AccuPlacer, then you are sent a link to register for a uh, CCP New Student Online Orientation. And it is at the orientation, given by myself, I give one tomorrow, I'm giving an orientation tomorrow. Um, at the end of the orientation is when we register you for your classes officially. So that's the official process. It takes, oh, depends if you hit your testing the first try and how long it takes you to get your um, transcripts to us at the quickest two weeks. So you wanna get started right away, right away. Um, but. Um, we will work steadily to make sure that every single person who wants to take advantage of this opportunity can. So let me know. I'm Like I said, this, today I'm going to send you the email with the links to get started. Now, if they've already, if you, if they've already taken a CC plus class. If you are already a college credit plus student and accepted college credit plus student, you do not need placement testing. You will simply contact me to add the classes. Now that isn't that, I mean, and on that point too, once you register, once you become a CCP student, I mean, you could, if you wanted to sign up for other classes through Clark State, like online history or whatnot. I know most of you probably aren't interested in that, but just to let you know, as an FYI, that would be possible as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. I, I think we're done. All right. Mr. Richardson. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Hope to so see you much. soon. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I hope to talk to you guys soon. Don't don't hesitate to follow through.
to uh, make sure that uh, you get a chance to get in this if you want to get in it. If not, and you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us so that we can answer any questions that you might have. Okay, thank you guys. All right, have a good uh, rest of your week. You too. Okay, bye.